Hello and welcome to Terabyte's video on disabling SMB1 and further protecting your SMB environment within Windows. If you don't know what SMB is, SMB is Server Message Block. It is a network protocol uh, which pretty much tells all Windows related devices and comp uh, printers and scanners, anything that's a network related device that wants to share or access information across the network, SMB will tell all these devices how to access it and how to share the information together. Uh, it primarily runs on a Windows network um, and if you look in the this PC or my computer section and look under the network bit you'll see lots of shares in there especially if you're in a network that it all runs on SMB. Uh, so what we're going to do today is pretty much just go through tell you why you should be disabling SMB version 1 um, is it secure and then we'll also tell you how to enable signing on the network as well just to help you secure your environment a little bit more. So is SMB secure? Well, yes. The, well, the newer versions are version 3 and all the versions of Windows 10 and Windows Server 2012 upwards is a lot more secure. The, a lot of the machines these days still run SMB version 1, which has been around for nigh on 20 odd years or so. And that is not secure. Uh, there's lots of vulnerabilities. There's been lots of attacks and all sorts against that. And in fact, Windows has actually been pushing out, or Microsoft's been pushing out a lot of work recently over the last couple of years, especially with Ned Pyle. Uh, it's actually going to get people moved off uh, SMB version 1 and disable it altogether and make sure you don't use it. So this is one of the reasons this video is in place. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to jump onto our Windows machine here. We've got Windows Server 2012 that we're going to be using. And we're just going to go through Group Policy Management and just create a couple of ent entries and push it all out to the network and then yeah as always just test it make sure you on a couple of machines first on your environment make sure it all works it doesn't break anything what you might find with is a couple of your older printers might suddenly stop working if you disable smb1 so always make sure you disable it on one or two machines first and just make sure you test everything and then once you're happy push it out to the rest of the network so what we'll do is We'll go here and go to Group Policy Management and go to your domain, which I was just test domain. Go to your Group Policy Objects and you can either create a default um, policy or just put it to the default Windows policy that we're going to do here. Click on Edit and then you want to go to Computer Configuration, Preferences, Windows Settings and then go to Registry. And you might have some entries in here, or you might not. What we're going to do here is just create a couple of little uh, registry entries that will, once updated, it'll push it out onto all your machines, make those settings just so SMB doesn't work, or SMB version 1 doesn't work. So you just need to right-click here, got a new registry item, and then you need to change this option here for the first one to, to create. What this will do is actually create a new entry within the registry. And then for your path, what you need to say is system current control set services LAN man server parameters and then the value name this is going to be SMB1 then you need to change the value type from the default of string to reg D word and then for the data put zero that just says disable and then set, that first bit actually will disable SMB1 on any servers. The next bit we're going to do is actually disable SMB1 on the client, or which is all like the, the Windows desktop machines, things like that. So just go right click, new registry item. And this time we're going to say update because this will already exist on uh, the Windows machines. And then the path we just do again, system current control set, if I can spell, on control set services and then this time it's going to be MRX SMB 10 so just make sure you get that spelling right if none of the, if, once you've done all this if it doesn't work just double check all the spellings make sure you got all the registry paths correct and then in this one we're going to say start for the value name changes to D word and then we're going to say four and just hit OK now the last bit we need to do to make all this work is actually remove the dependency uh, that we've just disabled for this one here. So any services that rely on that will stop working or just won't depend upon it. So we've just got new 
registry item, change this to replace, and then go system current control set services LAN man workstation. And then we're going to change that to say depend on server, the service even. And then we're going to change the value type and change this to multi SZ. And then in here, we're just going to change it to say a browser MRX SMB 20, which is SMB 2 or above, and then NSI. Hit OK. And then this won't take effect until you actually reboot it, uh, reboot your computers. So within a, a Microsoft Windows environment, if you're on a network, you might have to get your if you're an IT guy, um, push out the group policy, you know, just do a GDP, uh, GP update force. And then uh, on your testing machines, wait a little bit, reboot the machine, and then test, make sure that's all fine and that, that all works. I can't stress enough, you know, test, test, test before I actually push this out to everyone. It may break a few things, especially if you've got any old legacy stuff and go from there. Right, so that actually disables SMB1 and all the devices. What we're going to do now is actually just quickly dis uh, discuss SMB signing, what it is, why you should use it, and go from there. Normally, when SMB uh, traffic is working across the network, you can go in, listen to it passively, see all the information going around the network. With by default, SMB signing is only really enabled on the work on the servers, not the clients. So what SMB signing actually does is it kind of digitally signs your traffic that's being sent around. Um, so with with signing enabled, it'll actually tell the devices whether or not the traffic's been modified. So if someone's intercepted the traffic, tagged on something or manipulated something, with signing, it'll actually tell the end device that, yeah, you've changed something that's invalid, don't trust it. With the, by default, it's not enabled, so anyone can do anything, potentially intercept your traffic, uh, modify data, capture data, and everything else. So it's always advised, especially in a corporate environment, to enable SMB signing. So what we do here is, again, we're in Group Policy Management. Go to your default policy or whichever policy you like. Just edit and then go to Computer Configuration, Policies, uh, Window Settings, Security Settings when it comes up. And then go to Local Policies, Security Options. And then here you've got lots of various options for your, your computers. So what we're going to do here, the if you're not going to disable SMB1 for whatever reason, maybe you found that it conflicts or breaks a lot of stuff and you still need SMB1 on, uh, there's two additional s services we need to change, but I'll tell you that in a second. So what you need to do is scroll down here and go to Network Client Server, uh, which is here, and select this one here. So Network Client Server, digitally signed communications always. If you just double click on this, click on that and say Enabled and say yes to that. And then the next one is network client server digitally assigned communications if client agrees, which is this one here. This one only is valid for SMB version one. If you still need to use SMB one, just go in here, hit enabled. If you're not using SMB one, you found it, yeah, you can run without it. You can just leave that one blank. So the next one is network client, Microsoft network client digitally assigned communications always. Uh, Oh, which is the one I always did first, sorry. Um, this one here, then we'll go to this one. Just go there, click that and that. And just say yes. So this, this one here is for servers. This one here is for the clients. So you just got to make sure both of them are enabled. Again, push out the group policy. And again, just test it on a couple of machines. Just make sure everything works fine. I've never seen any breaking changes on this bit for enabling and signing, but you never know it is windows it is technology it is it and that is it so again push it out uh reboot the machines make sure it all works test it and then push it out to the wider audience and that is it and that will help you secure your network traffic for smb traffic and yeah it'll go from there uh, i hope it's, this is of use to you and if you have any questions or any queries about this or anything you've seen i'll put a couple of links in the below the in the description below the video and yeah i would appreciate it if you could uh, subscribe to this video you know click the notification bell so you get uh, updated when 
I push some new videos out. We're going to be pushing out a lot more how to's and best practices over the coming weeks and months. And yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for, I hope you enjoyed it and go from there. Bye.